In a world filled with diverse religious beliefs, one might wonder what sets Christianity apart from other faiths. Is there something unique that makes Christianity more believable or verifiable than other religions? Welcome to Answers from an Apostolic Faith. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Indeed, there are many factors that set Christianity apart. Today, I briefly will discuss one of them that holds much weight, yet it is often forgotten about. All religions begin with a revelation from the divine to the human. But how do these revelations come to be is of extreme importance. How can I trust those revelations? Today, we will quickly compare one main factor that makes or breaks the trustworthiness of the revelation in five major religions. Buddhism, Sikhism, Islam, Hinduism, and Christianity. According to the early Buddhist scriptures, Buddhism began with a personal spiritual quest. At the age of 35, Siddhartha Gautama sat under a large tree in India, vowing not to move until he discovered the ultimate truth. After seven weeks of meditation, he is believed to have attained enlightenment, becoming the Buddha, the awakened one. Buddha's teachings are said to have originated from his personal experience and meditative insight. The historical records of his life and teachings were documented centuries later. But how can we know what really happened to Buddha? How can we know that he discovered the truth and that he was enlightened? I do not mean anything derogatory against Buddha or any other founder that we're about to mention. All I am saying is that Buddha's revelation was private. How can we verify it? It is a similar story with Sikhism. Sikhism emerged in the 15th century with Guru Nanak, who is said to have had a profound mystical experience while bathing in a river. After disappearing for three days, he returned declaring there is neither Hindu nor Muslim. His revelation is said to have come from a personal encounter with God, where he was given a cup of divine nectar and tasked with preaching God's name. The foundation of Sikhism also rests upon the private, mystical experience of Guru Nana, which cannot be historically verified by external sources. According to Muslims, Islam began with a series of revelations given to the Prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel, who according to Muslim traditions was very forceful in his approach, which contrasts sharply with Archangel Gabriel's actions in the Christian narrative. These revelations starting in a cave near Mecca also rest upon private encounters. God only spoke to him on a personal basis. It was always private and never public. Hinduism is slightly different. Hinduism is often seen as a complex and diverse religion, with its origins deeply rooted in the ancient Vedas. To the Hindus, the Vedas is considered to be not of human origin and are believed to have been revealed to ancient sages through intense meditation. Written over a span of about 1400 years, they formed the foundation of the Hindu thought. However, Hinduism is not a single unified religion. It is a combination of various beliefs and practices that developed over time, influenced by the arrival of the Aryans around the 4th century BC. Hinduism does not have a specific founder or centralized creedal statements of faith. In any case, once again, the revelation to the sages was done privately and do not necessarily agree with each other. In Christianity, we find something fundamentally different. God does not reveal himself solely through private encounters or meditative experiences. Instead, God himself enters into human history as the God-man Jesus Christ. His birth was foretold, witnessed by shepherds, and recognized by wise men from the East. His life was openly marked by public miracles, profound teachings, and interactions with thousands. Jesus' crucifixion is a verifiable historical event and was witnessed by his followers, by his enemies, and by the Roman authorities. His resurrection, the cornerstone of Christian faith, was a public event witnessed by many over 40 days and by more than 500 people at once, which St. Paul mentions were still alive during his time, challenging the skeptics to go and inquire of them. Unlike other religious figures whose revelations were personal or mystical, Jesus' life, death, and resurrection were verifiable, public, and transformative. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to watch our previous ones by visiting and subscribing to our channel. If you find this content beneficial, share it with your friends. Remember, know your faith, live your faith, and teach your faith.